When the routine rides hard and ambitions are low, when the resentment rides high, but the emotions will grow, love will tear us apart. Hello and welcome to Costumes and Cocktails. Today's cocktail is called the Joy Division and I could think of no other costume than to dress up like a post-punk rock chick who was an avid follower of the band Joy Division. Joy Division was a band that was formed in the 70s in London and they were originally called Warsaw and that's all I have to say about the band. Now the Joy Division cocktail also has another name, The Age of Consent, and it was created by Phil Ward at Death & Co in New York. This cocktail has some throwback flavour profiles to the 1890 martini. Let's get to making it. Now, the gin that I'm going to be using in this cocktail is Beef Eater, and that's the one I saw used in quite a few of the versions of this cocktail. There is absolutely nothing wrong with a good bottle of Beef Eater. This is one of the original gins that was ever created. Um, I actually got to visit the distillery in London, which to me is quite an accolade, and when I tasted this, it was kind of like a throwback for me to when I first started drinking gin. There are so many flavor profiles and different types of gins, different distillations, different botanicals, that this one is like kind of one of those OGs. So I'm super pleased to be using it. <laughs> Sorry, let me take it. We need 60 milliliters of beef eater gin for this cocktail. And I think beef eater particularly is used because its flavor profile is strong, but it's not overly complex in that it can allow other flavors to shine. It's a fantastic cocktail gin. The next ingredient is vermouth. Some recipes called for Dolan, but I'm using the Martini and Rosso. Dry vermouth. We need 13 milliliters of the dry vermouth. Then we need some triple sec. You can use conchu, again, what is called for in some recipes, but triple sec conchu, tomato, tomato, Country, triple sec. <laughs> we need 15 milliliters of the triple sec. And the final ingredient is some absinthe. Yeah. The last ingredient will be three dashes. That feels like, sounds like three dashes. Pour it over ice and shake it up. Pour into a coupe and ideally garnish with a lemon, which I did not have. Time to taste. Hmm. Hmm. Oh wow. So absinthe normally has that kind of licorice flavor to me, but it's like burny licorice, like not real licorice. Somehow these flavors together have made it taste like sweetie licorice. Uh, in South Africa, we have sweets called licorice all sorts. They're like all kinds of licorice, they're really yummy. It kind of reminds me of that. And then the, uh, the triple sec adds that sweetness. Um, and then the gin is just so, the gin and the vermouth together, it's kind of like that martini throwback that they were talking to. It's definitely not a, like a cocktail I would anticipate. It was quite different. Um, it's not at all bad. I will maybe make these for someone in the future. I don't hate it. Thank you so much for joining me. Maybe you should try one and tell me what you think about it. I'll see you next week.